Hello friends, in my this video, I am going to discuss one interesting crypto arithmetic related problem which may appear in your placement process. Okay, especially for Infosys placement process, this is very very important, these kind of questions. So practice this well. Okay, crypto arithmetic, it is a bit difficult for beginners and you have to practice huge for solving this and then also you may face difficulty. I am not demotivating you but it is really a hard topic. So you should find some tricks to solve this. Okay, from options or some uh, certain rules are there. So like that one problem, let us try to discuss the approach without uh, doing much effort without more uh, trial and error method with a smart way how we can do that so decrypt the code snub okay and here it is given one subtraction problem that is count minus coin equal to snub options are given 9805 then 5790 and 6000 sorry 6795 and 9567 okay so basically these are four options so we will try to put uh, options also and we will try to check so basically, uh, whenever you get subtraction related problem, try to convert into addition problem because most of the times we are comfortable in addition problems of crypto arithmetic so that it will be uh, helpful for you in solving. So that what we can do as count minus coin equal to SNUB. So we can say SNUB plus coin equal to count or coin plus uh, SNUB equal to count. Right? That's what I have written here. Coin plus SNUB equal to count. And from this figure itself, you can conclude one thing that here C is coming. Uh, here we are adding two four digit number and we are getting as uh, C here. So basically, no doubt C will be obviously one. Okay. This is no doubt because by adding two unit digit uh, number, although uh, if uh, from the previous step there one carry comes, then also this particular uh, position number cannot exceed one right so basically c equal to one this is simple rule which we apply in crypto arithmetic for addition related problem so replace one so basically we got c equal to one and we have replaced the c values with one okay now you just try to understand this so whether can we eliminate eliminate some options from this no there is no such way is there okay so now what we can do just try to think now see here basically this is not zero uh, this is O. okay see C O U N T. this O I i have written here don't confuse it with zero now you just try to understand this s plus one s is one unit digit number we are adding one with it and we are getting a two digit number there may be one carry from the previous step uh, while addition adding these two numbers o and n uh, there may be one carry also come but no issue in that so basically we are adding two unit uh, digit number that is starting from 0 to 9 uh, or basically we can say 1 to 9 or basically we can say as we have taken 1 here so 0 or from 2 to 9 s yes, will take any value but one thing is clear as we are adding s plus 1 so basically what should happen s plus 1 or s plus 2 should be one two digit number try to understand this here s and one we are adding or there may be another possibility that from the previous step one extra carry one comes okay so either s plus one or s plus two should be a two digit number this is obviously clear now you see the options s and u b right so s possible value of s is what either nine or five or six right from the option itself it is clear so basically we can say s possible value of s are 9 5 and 6 now the condition we got either s plus 1 should be a two digit number or if uh, from the previous step one extra carry comes then in that case s plus 2 should be a two digit number right so now you can see if s equal to 5 then 5 plus 2 is not a two digit number that is 7 that is unit digit number and s plus 1 that is 5 plus 1 again it is going to be unit digit number similarly if s equal to 6 6 plus 1 will be unit digit number or 6 plus 2 if uh, one carry comes from previous step then it will be 6 plus 2 then also it is going to be unit digit number only so 5 and 6 is not possible so only possible value for x is uh, s is 9 okay so we can eliminate these two so basically this second and third option gone only either answer is first option or last option okay so s equal to 9 put that value s equal to 9 okay here so if we put s equal to 9 see 
now what will happen so 9 plus 1 either if from the previous step no carry comes then 9 plus 1 simply 10 should be output or otherwise from the previous step if one extra carry comes to this step then 9 plus 2 should be 11 should be output so here i have written o right c o u n t this o either it can take 0 or 1 value only because 9 plus 1 10 this is one possibility otherwise 9 plus 2 11 another possibility so o will be 0 or 1 but we have already taken c equal to 1 so o cannot be 1 because in cryptic arithmetic this is one fundamental rule that uh, different uh, alphabets cannot take same value so o can be only possible value of o is 0 so basically o will be 0 now you replace 0 in places of o try to understand whether we can eliminate one more option and we can get our result or not so basically if i replace the o with 0 we are getting now this kind of result now very interesting you have to observe see 1 0 i n plus 9 n u b equal to 1 0 u n t and we have to calculate s n u b already second and third options are eliminated so now we have to determine in between this option one or option uh, four which one is correct one see very tricky part you can clearly understand see here zero here n after adding we are getting u obviously in this particular step what should happen in this particular case obviously from the previous step that is in this addition that is i plus u equal to n from this step one carry should come in this step right otherwise 0 plus n if there are no carries uh, coming from previous step then 0 plus n equal to u that means n equal to u n is not equal to u this is basic fundamental rule of crypto arithmetic there is no different alphabets have same value so n not equal to u so obviously from previous step one carry will come and you know that after adding two unit digit number only maximum possible carry is one only okay carry obviously carry will come and that carry will be one only because no other carry is possible so one plus n should be u now you go to option see s n u b a s equal to nine we already got see try to understand from the options okay so we already eliminated this we already eliminated this and we got the result s equal to 9 in both the case now n and u n may be 8 and u may be 0 from the first option or from the last option n may be 5 and u may be 6 and what we concluded from our this observation that n plus 1 should be 2 so obviously this follows the last option because 5 plus 1 equal to 6 and that's all so our answer is 9567 which is option d like this from the options and from basic rules you can solve this problem so what we have followed what strategy we have followed just have a quick recap from the beginning first it was given in the subtraction result format but we are comfortable with addition if you are comfortable with subtraction you can solve this numerical in this uh, format itself but generally we are comfortable with this kind of addition related crypto arithmetic so that i have converted like this and then we concluded that as c is coming at extra part that is after adding two four digit number we are getting five digit number obviously this c will be one okay because you know this uh, property from the fundamental principle of crypto arithmetic the maximum possible carry can be one so c equal to one then we are putting that now if c equal to one then obviously what will happen that c in this particular step either here s was there so s plus one or s plus two should be one two digit number and from that we can conclude that s cannot be five or six so the option two and option uh, three are eliminated now option a is the answer or option d is the answer so obviously one thing is clear that s will be obviously 9 right because 9805 if it is the answer then also is equal to 9 or otherwise if the answer is 9567 then also s will be 9 so put that s value 9 9 plus 1 see now in that case what you will conclude other either 9 plus 1 simply 10 will put here otherwise if from if your step one carry comes 9 plus 2 11 will, will put here and here initially o was there so o can take only zero value because c was already taking one so o equal to zero now we are putting zero and from this particular step we concluded as n and u cannot take same value so obviously one extra carry is coming from the previous step so n plus one equal to you so that five plus six five plus one equal to six which is satisfied in this fourth 
डिफिकल्ट For engineering students, because they get very less time, but for placement process, you have to devote your time. You have to utilize your time for um, accurately. Time management has to be very proper. So one hour, obviously, time for practicing programming uh, from Hacker Rank or Lead Code from the standard websites, where you can check your optimized code whether you are right able to write or not. That is time complexity error has to be taken care of. Apart from that, for aptitude, one hour for logical reasoning, one hour for verbal uh, questions like for. CS or Infosys, this kind of dream uh, placement. If you want to go for, then for English also you have to give time. So like this, you have to manage everything, and simultaneously your college exam, uh, college courses also you have to study. Okay, so obviously placement season will be a bit difficult for all the engineering students. I also can understand because I have also faced that same. Okay, so just this is all for my this video. Thank you for watching.